Stanislav, I have a question to you. If I get E2 visa, I know that I have to work in my own company, but do I have an option to run another business simultaneously? And today we're going to be discussing this topic and also at the end of this video you will be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your E2 visa. Let's go! Hello my dear friends, I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. We're going to be talking about E2 visa today and the options that you will get once you get that visa approved. Let's take a step back and first remember what is E2 visa. E2 visa is good for those countries that signed a treaty trade agreement with the US. And the list of those countries is going to be in the link I will provide below this video. You need to invest 100,000 plus in a purchasing of an existing business or in a startup and we need to prove that the money that you're investing in the US is clean. Clean, there is an origin of funds, you pay the taxes and things like that. That visa allows you to come to the States and depending on the country, uh, the visa in the passport could be from three months up to five years. But regardless of how long your visa is in the passport, don't mix the two, the visa and the status. The status in the US is going to be for two years. So even if you have a three month visa, once you enter, your status is two years, meaning you can stay here for two years, work. Your whole family is going to get that visa. Uh, it's you, your spouse, and the kids below 21. And very important, your spouse will also get E2, which will allow him or her to work here in the US and not necessarily in your business. So they could be working in another company, they could start their own business. That's why sometimes I strategically switch the main petitioner from more active spouse to less active, the more active spouse could do other businesses. All right. So uh, this is a side note and just remember that it's possible. But now the main question is, is it possible having the business in the US for which you got your E2 visa approved, but also do other businesses at the same time simultaneously? The short answer is yes but it depends how you're going to structure this whole endeavor. So let me tell you the recipe of the proper way to do this. Number one, first of all, you have to be an employee of your own company. And I think this is the biggest mistakes I see that other attorneys don't say, or if they even say, the clients don't follow. You just start your company, you direct and control it just the way the law says it, but you don't get paid on W-2 form as an employee. You just get like the dividends. This is a huge mistake because once we get to the point where we need to extend either your status or your visa, then it's going to become a huge problem because yes, you were directly and controlling your business, but what's the financial track of that? Why didn't you get paid for that? So that could be the basis for the denial. So make sure no matter what, if you have one business to 10 businesses, you have to get a paycheck from the company that petitioned for E2 visa. Uh, let me remind you that it's not you as a person, although I say sometimes that you're the petitioner, but in fact, you're a beneficiary. There is a huge difference, legal difference. On the street, it's kind of the same. So the petitioner is your company and your beneficiary who is working in that company. That's why you're an employee and you have to get paid. All right, so this is clear. Now, is it possible to have more than one business. And yes, it's possible. But in those businesses, you cannot get paid as a paycheck. In those side businesses or parallel businesses, you may only get the dividends. Actually, I don't, don't like the word dividends from the tax standpoint. I like the word distribution. So you're getting distributions from those companies because you own them and you organize them. 
you're the one who organized them that's why you get the benefit of getting the uh, dividends uh, or distributions uh, a better word this is very easy if you are the main beneficiary who got it to visa you are working in your main company who's a petitioner you get the distributions and a salary in that company and if you have more and you can have one two ten a mil doesn't really matter if you have other businesses in the us you only can get the distributions there you cannot get the paychecks because that, then you violate your status in the us however if in the beginning we strategically switched the main beneficiary the original beneficiary with the spouse and you who is a more active uh, person in the family who is more entrepreneurial who likes to risk things to invest to make money so your spouse could be just working in a petitioner company no problem she's she or she's gonna direct and control you may help you may not it's it's up to you but you may be working in all those companies and getting both the salary and uh, uh, distributions this is the main concept i need you to understand make sure you ask me questions if something is not yet clear and if you want to get a free evaluation of your case go down below this video find a link that's going to say e2 free evaluation fill out the form give me two days i'll get back to you with analysis let you know if, if you have a case or not and uh, if you do and if you have a potential i will invite you to the complex immigration planning and last thing I want to mention today, but is not least, is what you need to pay attention to in order to get the extension of your E2 status. And let me be clear here. Basically, need only one thing. And that thing is to show that the business is not marginal. What it means? <laughs> Nobody knows. But we have an idea. A marginal business is a business that only supports the investor and the family of the investor. So that's the marginal business. So let's say you opened up um, an IT business and you're uh, selling cloud services. You are the only employee and you know you break even with your company maybe it's a little bit profitable and you pay yourself a salary okay this is a marginal business okay because it only supports you and maybe a little bit of your family but it doesn't bring any economic impact and remember those two words economic impact very important because that's what we need to prove in order to say that the, the business is not marginal the business brings economic impact in two instances maybe more but two are the main ones employees and profit or a combination of those two so i want to see at the time when we extend either your status or your visa that you have at least two three employees besides you and your business is profitable anywhere from 50 to $100,000 on top of that. And the more of these two, the better. If you have five employees, which is good. If you make uh, $200,000 profit, very good. But uh, that's a good combination, two, three employees, $50,000 plus uh, profit. But anything above that, we can work with it, okay? Sometimes the businesses do not require employees, but still make a lot of money. Let's say I've seen businesses maybe with one or two employees, but uh, the profit was like $300,000 a year. It brings economic impact per se. So it's assumed that it brings economic impact because the Congress thinks that you're going to spend this money here. I don't know if it's true, but that's, that's what the law says. So uh, make sure that when you're getting close to your extension time, you really start thinking deeper about those two concepts employees and a profit all right do the free evaluation do it right now come to the complex immigration planning i will build a strategy for your case and then hire my company to lead your e2 case for the win smash that like button subscribe to my youtube channel ask questions comment also follow me on my insta on my uh, tiktok and my twitter my name is stanislav shamayev i'm a lawyer of the future your future begins here. Good luck.